Jesus touched Rahab a little bit. We know that Rahab, when the spies went to spy in Kenani, Rahab was known as a national harlot prostitute. And she would host different dignitaries. Whoever could come, she would host. The Bible says when the spies entered Kenani, she then hosted the spies and protected them from being killed. And she then said unto the spies, when you come to take over Kenani, remember me, spare me. And the Bible says a declaration was made that her Arab is not supposed to be touched. But we are talking of a halote that is known nationally, a halot that is known even internationally, regionally. And the Bible, when you look at it, she's supposed to be the grandmother of the one who is growing as a tender plant. And the Bible says that Jesus is hidden in such a ground, Rab. Ah, and we've got people, a lot of people that were, good, or were born in different families, and there were things that were said against your families and things that your families could not achieve and do. That's a bad ground. Ah, but I prophesy that you are not going to be identified. You are not going to be limited by such a ground. You are not going to be stopped by such a ground. Amen. You know, I know there are some people that were born as, as with their mothers, but it was like an, an era. They are giving birth. The mother had gone to the pub and she met with what, whoever she met with. And after that, mom realized that she's pregnant and she cannot trust now who is responsible for the pregnancy. And you are saying to yourself, I was born out of my mother's demonic diabolical acts, and now I am what I am, and I have what I have. But I want to prophesy over my life that that ground is not going to identify, be identified with you. It's not going to define your life. It's not going to limit your life. I prophesy that you are not a biological mistake. You carry the power of God, and Rahabo was the father of Obed, then and Obed begat Jesse. Yes. And Jesse begat David the king. In between there is Ruth, who was and Obed and Boaz begat Obed of Ruth. Mm. And Obed begat Jesse. Jesse. And Jesse begat David the king. David the king. And David the king begat Solomon. Solomon. Of her that had been the wife of Bulia. David begot Solomon. And we got Solomon with the wife of Uriah. You understand how the Bible wants to show us the ground that Jesus is coming from. The Bible could have just said and David is Solomon or because Solomon, but it wants us to know the mother of Solomon and the husband of, of Bathsheba. The Bible, you know, that David did to kill Uriah for him to get Bathsheba. But Jesus Christ is supposed to come from such a ground. He's supposed to come from such a history and a genealogy. That's why Isaiah now prophetically when he's sitting, he said that was a tender plant growing as a root coming from the dry and arid ground. So you find out that the life of Jesus Christ, when you see him now walking in Jerusalem, entering Cape Nam, going to all the provinces of Jerusalem, you think that his life was so smooth, but it's coming from people. Then Solomon, when he was born, we thought that Solomon was going to be better than his daddy. You read about Solomon, Solomon married about 700 wives from different kings. And every wife that Solomon married, they brought their own gods in Israel. They then negated the worship of God. They brought pagan and idolism in Israel. This is where Jesus Christ is supposed to come from and is supposed to come carrying the gospel of salvation. But the people that are representing Jesus Christ, they've got a different mindset. And David became the father of Solomon. Thank you so much on that one now. You can take a seat for this. We want now to get and engage ourselves in the time of serious business. When God is going to shift and change our